What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dewan. I'm back. If you watched my last couple of videos, I've been talking about App Academy. App Academy sponsored the channel for me to upload a couple of videos to talk about their online boot camp, the, what it offers, what it's about, and then also to talk about coding. Here, what I want to do is walk you through their online boot camp to give you an idea of what it actually offers. It's kind of my, I guess, my personal review of the program. If you're interested, check it out. And also go back, check out the interview with Jesse Wong. He gives you his firsthand experience on how he went through the App Academy bootcamp, what it did for him. And now he's actually an instructor for App Academy, which is cool. Shout out to you, Jesse. It's playoff time though, bro. It's about to go down. Them cast made it past round run. It was a rough one, but we at it. Yeah, so check that out. Feel free to check out App Academy's um, YouTube page. They have a lot of great info on there. And also their website. We'll get to that here in a minute. And then also there's a giveaway that they're doing for their online bootcamp. It's a 40-hour course. It's loaded with information. That's what we're actually going to be reviewing here. Check it out. Give you an overview of what it actually offers, what it's about. They're giving away two full scholarships to their online bootcamp. Feel free to sign up if you are interested. It has an $1,800 value. And from what I've seen, it looks like it's a pretty good program, but we'll check it out. Let's get to it. So off the, off the top, App Academy's layout of their program is very clean, very sleek. But first, let's hear from Anthony, man. He has some good things to say about the course to kind of, you know, welcome you to the course. Let's check it out. Hi. My name is Anthony, and I would like to welcome you to App Academy's Bootcamp Prep Online course. What's good, Anthony? This course is fundamentally about using programming to solve problems, and our vehicle in this exploration will be the JavaScript programming language. The goals of this course are to give you an advanced to intermediate understanding of JavaScript, to give you the confidence to go out and explore new topics in programming on your own, to give you the ability to solve relatively complex uh, problems and, of course, to turn you into a top programming bootcamp applicant. The reason why we use JavaScript in this course is twofold. One, JavaScript is the most popular programming language in the world. Facts. It is the language of the internet, and the internet has become a ubiquitous tool for communication. In other words, JavaScript is everywhere. And two, all, uh, all boot camps will allow you to go through their application process using JavaScript. Uh, most of them aren't concerned uh, if uh, you, you know the right uh, programming language or not. What they're concerned about is if you have the ability to solve problems intelligently and methodically, which is why we've geared this course to hone those two skills. I hope you learn a lot, and I hope you have fun. Come and join me for the course. Dope. Thanks, Anthony. But the way this is actually structured, you come in here, you go to welcome. Let's go to the next page. So this tells you about the platform, the way it's structured, um, searching for tasks. Before we keep going, there's actually a discussion section, which I thought was cool. So there are people in here talking right now that will help you through whatever issues are happening. It has its own chat area right here built into the App Academy platform. So that's pretty cool. Another thing that I thought was cool about this was they actually have, once you complete the course, they have mock interviews. So if you actually go through the course and you decide you want to be a software developer, engineer, or whatnot, they have a plat platform set up to help you with your interview process. So just like you go to their live bootcamp, which is in San Francisco or New York, they actually provide this service for those of you that are online to help you be successful in your interviews. So that's dope. I haven't seen that before. Shout out to them for putting that together in their course. Um, there's a Slack group for those of you that are going through the course. If you got questions, like I said, up here in this discussion area, there's a live chat that's pretty much ongoing. We'll go through some more of the course to check it out. There's some motivational stuff. Stay determined. 
Because, I mean, 40 hours a call, you got to think about it. You know, you do an hour a day, that's 40 days to complete it. Or, you know, you can break it up, do two hours a day, that's 20 days to complete it. Or you can do four hours a day, that's 10 days to complete it. Or you do eight hours, eight hours a day, and that's five days to complete it. Or you can just spend two days and do it, and do it in 40 hours. It's not, it's not a race at all. It's a journey. It's a stroll. You know, take your time, go through it, learn, retain the information build up a knowledge base if you go through it but they're going to actually talk about i believe it's called repel hey everyone alvin here right now let's go over how we can use replit replit the that's rep. the name of it replit, so first sorry. off what is replit replit is basically the platform we're going to be using to write and run our javascript code over the duration of the course so let's say i just got to an exercise where i actually get to write some code You'll probably be presented with a little modal like this. And what you can do is sign up for Replit. That way you can save your work. And the sign up is pretty painless. I already have an account, so I'll just go ahead and hit login. Cool, yeah. So this is Replit that you actually get to use for their online IDE while you're going through the course. So that's pretty cool. Now, let's go back over here to App Academy. Go to the course. All right, let's, let's see, check out a program real quick. So we have this program up here is pretty much this is just going to be notes or comments that you add to your program. This will not get read by the program. This is just for you to um, basically title your program, leave notes for people that may come behind you when you write your program and all that good stuff. So as, as you can see here, it says play around with writing code and replit. And so there's a var variable, which is name. And what we're going to do is say console dot log hello world um, um name so what i'm going to do is put my name here and since it's a string i have to put it in parentheses and then to end this this line we're going to put a semicolon then we're going to click run down here and rep replicate boom hello world i'm dewan and as you can see here's the variable i initialized it to dewan put it down here as name and now Hello world, I'm Dewan, and I wrote my first code in JavaScript. Boom, that easy, that smooth. That's what's up. I'm, I'm ready to get a job. Who paying me that six figures? What's good? <laughs> All right, and so what, what I found to be dope about this, so before it even gives you a lecture, it allows you to go in here to try and play around with it yourself. And now, once you do that, now it goes into to tell you about what you just did and what you just learned. Hey programmers, Alvin here. Right now, let's go over some of those key steps we took in that Hello World program. And so in the last video, we basically saw how to build that classic Hello World program, although we took advantage of a couple of things that we're gonna learn later in the course. And so why don't we just really hone in on some basics here, right? Yeah, so I like the way Alvin delivers his um, training in the course is real smooth, real steady, he makes sure he doesn't leave anything out. So that's pretty good. You know, sometimes when you follow different instructors and it, it's kind of hard, it could be a language barrier. There could be many, they could talk too fast, sort of like I do sometimes. Um, but he has a real steady pace. He sounds like he knows what he's talking about, um, a confident delivery. So kudos to him. Now let's check out data types. So in here, what it's gonna talk about is data types. So you got numbers, you got strings, you got booleans, undefined, that's the part I don't know, and you got null. So this is something different. So undefined and null are two data types may stand out as strange. Undefined and null are unique data types in JavaScript because they only have single values. Is that like char? Hmm. Okay. Not a number. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Operators and methods. So it's getting right into it. It's already, man, the second part, let me see. Yeah, man, data types and variables. So it's getting right into coding. So you're going to be doing some, some math right here, you know. It, okay. So basically, 10 plus 2 is 12. All right, all right, all right. Let's see if it gets us to, to some code. Let's see if, all right, so booleans bull, is going to be true, false statements okay okay and all right all right all right or yep not okay so this is or 
this is an and this is not an a not and statement and so five is greater than zero and negative two is less than zero true which is true all right so in false and true is false all right yeah pretty much standard so we're going through this all this lecture pretty much that you're going to have to learn then we go over to the next page and now he's going to lecture us hey everyone alvin here right now let's talk about the number data type in javascript so to start what we're going to do is just play around with some numbers inside of the all right so now there's an interview tips section that gives you some interview tips on how you can be successful in your interview so that's dope so yeah that's pretty cool let's see a section six okay so i guess you have assignments that you'll have to upload and get graded so that's what's up cool and like i said what's next non-technical prep okay so now it has some non-technical pre preps okay creating a personal pitch all right i don't want to give too much of that information on their course out so we're just going to kind of wrap this up and like i said they have their their mock interview section which is cool and this is a 40-hour course so it's loaded with i guess the tools to help you understand the basis of javascript and to help you get in the field so you can catapult your career to where you want to be i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was informational if you all are interested in being a part of this giveaway, here's the link right here. Check it out. Check out App Academy. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Share it out. I thank you all for your support. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace.